Dear friend, I'm honored to stand before you today. I'm so grateful and a thousand thanks to the Asian Art Association Singapore for inviting me to deliver a speech in this meaningful occasion, the fifth World Charity Painting Competition. This event aims to support the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR, and raise awareness about the plight of the Rohingya refugees in Malaysia. Art is a universal language with immense power. Through painting, we can express our innermost emotion, convey messages about our world, and draw attention to humanitarian issues. Malaysia has taken in almost 150,000 Rohingya refugees from Myanmar, representing significant challenges and a call for global attention and collective effort to provide assistance. The Rohingya refugee in Malaysia faces numerous challenges. They must not only overcome the language barriers, they should also adapt to a new cultural environment. Many of them lack of necessities such as food, medical care, and educational resources. One of their most significant issues is the lack of legal status, which makes it so difficult for them to find employment and access to essential services. Moreover, the psychology trauma and uncertainty about their future add a heavy burden to their lives. Despite these challenges, the Rohingya refugees are striving to integrate into the local society and rebuild their lives. They actively participate in community activities, learn our local languages, and make effort to understand and respect the local culture. Many refugees engage in entrepreneurship, small businesses, or work in the informal sector to gradually to become self-reliant. The support network within the, their communities also provide crucial psychology and social support. International assistance is therefore crucial. Firstly, governments and international organization must enhance cooperation, providing more funds and resources to ensure these refugees receive basic living support. Secondly, education and vocational training programs are vital, not only to help refugees to improve their survival skills, but also to enable them to better integrate into their new environments. Thirdly, mental health support is indispensable. Helping refugees to cope with trauma and stress and rebuild their sense of security. Additionally, advocacy campaign to promote social inclusion and reduce discrimination and help to create a more welcoming and accepting social environment. Whether you are a seasoned artist or an amateur who loves painting, you can use your brush and your awkward to convey love and care. Let us join hands and use the power of art to give voice to those in need and to cry out for those displaced from their homes. I believe each piece of art will be a precious gift a testament to the respect for life and call for humanity. Let us work together to make this competition a celebration of love and hope and let our artworks become a source of warmth for those in need. Finally, I would like to sincere thanks to every participant, to every supporter and also all the staff to make this event a success. Let us stand together and strive for a better world. Thank you. Let us embark on this journey of patience together.